Number three, letter A. What is the maximum frictional force in the knee joint of a person who supports 66 kilograms of her mass on that knee? All right. So first thing is uh, maximum frictional force. How do we find that? Or which frictional force is the maximum? Static or kinetic? It's always going to be static. All right. So st static, the static frictional force always represents the max. All right. The max frictional force. Okay, so that's the first thing. All right, the next thing is if we had to draw a free body diagram of the knee, right, let's pretend this little dot represents the knee, and the person is supporting 66 kilograms of her mass on this particular knee here. So there is a force vector pointing down, right, that's equal to the weight of the object. And remember, the weight is equal to mg. So the weight is the 66.0 kilograms multiplied by the gravitational acceleration of 9.80. We'll simply just plug that into the calculator. 66 times 9.8, 647, let's call it. 647, and that's in terms of Newtons, right? And that's pointing down. And remember, the normal force now, the definition of it is the force that opposes the weight, right? So in this particular case, it is, or I should say the force that um, is perpendicular. That's really a better definition, uh, a force that is perpendicular to the surface, okay? So in this problem, it, it exactly uh, counterbalances the weight, but it doesn't normally have to. Remember, it's just a perpendicular force to the plane of the surface the object is on. So the plane of this knee is in the X, right? So the perpendicular would be directly up. All right, so this uh, arrow represents the normal force, okay? And since this uh, system is in equilibrium, right? There's no accelerations, whatnot, the normal force would equal the uh, weight. Okay, so it'd be the same. Same value, uh, just pointing in the opposite direction. When you do the math, this value is positive, and this value would be negative. Okay, so now uh, that we know all that, we can finally calculate the maximum frictional force, because remember, we're really finding the static frictional force. So the static frictional force has to be less than or equal to uh, the mu, uh, which is the coefficient of static friction, times the normal force. All right, so in order to do this, I need the... Co uh, the coefficient. So let's go to our table and which system correlates well to the knee? Well, it looks like bone lubricated by synovial, uh, synovial fluid, right? And remember, we're talking about static friction here. So that's the coefficient. So simply just plug in the values now. So the force of static friction has to be less than or equal to 0 0.016 multiplied by that normal force of 647. So we get the maximum force here has to be less than or equal to 0 0.016 times 647. So 10.4, if we do sig figs, 10 point, well, there's only two sig figs actually in the coefficient, so looks like it's just gonna be 10, 10 Newtons, okay? That takes care of letter A. Now, uh, letter B, let's see what we got. So during strenuous exercise, it is possible to exert forces to the joints that are easily 10 times greater than the weight being supported. What is the maximum force of friction under such conditions? All right, so what, what now happens? So the, if, if I were to draw right a free body diagram here, let me just get my set of axes, okay? Um, so it says during strenuous exercise, right, the joints can easily support uh, a weight 10 times greater, right, than the weight that's being supported. So therefore now what's the weight pointing down? So now the weight pointing down, will be, right, weight is equal to 10 times that of the weight, or 647. So now the weight is going to be 6,470 Newtons. What's then the normal force? Well, it would directly oppose that, right? It'd be the same amount, the system is in equilibrium. So I have, so I have here the normal force is gonna be equal to 6,470 Newtons. All right, wonderful. So now I can do the same calculation, right? It's still gonna be the same coefficient, so let's use the same formula. So the static uh, frictional force is less than or equal to the coefficient of static friction multiplied by the normal force. So here, the static frictional force, hold on one second, big guy. Do you wanna do physics? You gotta love bedtime. You gotta love bedtime. All right, so let's wrap this up quickly. Uh, so the uh, coefficient of static friction here is 0 
multiplied by the normal force. Now that's 6,470, okay? And simply just plug this into the calculator. So obviously it should go up, right? 0 0.016 times 641, six, sorry, 6470, just a little distracted. Should have went up 10 times, right? And we got two sig figs, so it should be 100. 100 newtons. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Got to run. Please remember to subscribe. Until next time.